Donald Trump got word of the bill, realized it was going to fix a problem he wanted to run on, and told him to kill the bill, don't put it up for a vote. He killed a bill that would have actually been a solution because he wants to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. Yeah, no. So to believe that, you'd have to believe that Kamala and Joe Biden could destroy the border with executive orders, but for some reason they need an act of Congress to just reverse exactly what they did by themselves. That makes sense to you? Now, she tries to sell this obvious lie because if they could have convinced Republicans to actually give the administration the gift of that border bill, it would have absolved Biden and Kamala both for the unforgivable actions that they committed during the first days in the White House that they were so proud of, that they bragged about. The oaths of office for both Biden and Harris mandated they protect our country from all threats, both foreign and domestic. Today, ICE released numbers showing just how clearly they have broken their oaths. There are currently more than 650,000 illegals in our country who have criminal histories in the countries that they came here from. We have brought in more than 13,000 convicted murderers and almost 16,000 convicted rapists, and we have just let them wander around our country for the last several years. And if you have any problem with that, they tell you you're a racist. You start to wonder at what point did the American people enter into this obvious suicide pact with our own government? None of this makes any sense. This is peak insanity to do this to a country. Here was Trump talking about that today in Michigan. I told you, they're releasing them for jails and these fake people, these, these stupid people, who say they don't release them from jail. These are people all in jail because they don't want them in jail. They're too expensive and they don't want them in their countries. They're smarter than us. They give them to us. We're like a dumping ground. That's over 647,572 migrant criminals are in our country. It's a killing machine. Nobody who's allowed to do this and nobody who's allowed this to happen to our country is fit to be the president of the United States. They call them crazy. They call them a conspiracy theorist. They call them a racist. We have 30,000 rapists and murderers wandering through our country right now. Yeah. So what kind of people could take an oath to protect a country while running it and turn around and unleash this kind of hell? After Biden and Harris demolished our sovereignty and our southern border, the state of Arizona started uh, using shipping containers to fill in the gaps in the border wall. Remember when that happened? Biden and Harris sued Arizona to force the removal of those shipping containers because nothing could be allowed to stop this invasion into your country. Texas put up razor wire. Biden and Harris sued to remove it. This is how hard they've been working to fill your country with third world chaos. And again, 30,000 rapists and killers and a half a million people, nearly a half a million people convicted of crimes in their homelands. Can you fathom doing something like that to your own country? And yet, as we go toward an election here in a little more than a month, here's Kamala Harris's new immigration campaign ad. Kamala Harris has never backed down from a challenge. She put cartel members and drug traffickers behind bars, and she will secure our border. Here's her plan. Hire thousands more border agents, enforce the law and step up technology and stop fentanyl smuggling and human trafficking. We need a leader with a real plan to fix the border. Can you imagine? It, it's levels of political deception that many in this country probably did not know were even possible. We wonder, do, do they just hate the country? What's, what's really going on here? Do they hate the country? Are they fully controlled by the corporate lobby that's desperate for all of that cheaper labor? What is the motive? Well, it could be any of these things, but at least in part, it's also power. This is all being done to consolidate and perpetuate their own power.